Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is D Spares Jenny, and this is Tabs Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. No, I will not do that again. No, do not ask. <laughs> it's been a while since I checked Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, so there's news. Not only the game is now on Steam, and we're gonna check out what's new out there. After that, eventually we will play the new levels or go through the levels again with the new units. So I'm gonna go into Sandbox. And check out this new panel. We now have the estimate performance, which says good. Going through the list, we have a samurai, which is new to me. I've never played with a samurai. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna put something like, I don't know, 20 or 30 of them. Vikings, which is the second new unit to me. Then after that, we have muskets. We have a, a, a vacha, 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 vacha. I have no idea how to call those, but they seem to be some kind of catapults for men only. And then you have the chicken men and chicken man men. Right now I'm gonna go with Vikings, which costs 10 more units than the samurai. So I would reckon they are a little bit stronger. I'm gonna go with the same number just to simulate how good they are against samurai and between them, who is the strongest. Okay, samurais against Vikings. And on this side, Vikings use an axe. Not only shields, but an axe as well. Look at that. They use the Spider Man tactic, which is going on top of each other. We have three samurais left and one Viking only. It seems that the samurais are stronger, or maybe I used it wrong. And the map is pretty interesting. There's trees and whatnot, Japanese trees. Bone size. Muskets have a different shape, as you can see, from any other unit in the battlefield. I'm gonna put a couple of them. Let's put mm, 10. It's new units against new units, so what the heck. Let's go with... Wow, they're really big. They're the size of a catapult, so that's why. So I'm gonna go with four of them. Is that fair? Muskets against w w Wachawa, or Wacha, or uh, what the heck is going on with that one? Look at their position on the watchers. Or Wachawa, I don't even know. This guy just passed out. And this guy is now dead. The muskets are really, really strong, aren't they? It seems that they can fire from a really long distance, and the watchers have a medium to long range. Now, finally, the last two new units, which I guess they're not really new. We know them. The Chicken Man is the last boss of the levels when you're playing the levels, the campaign, the main campaign. So I'm gonna put two Chicken Mans, actually three of them, let's put three of them, against two Chicken Man Men. I have no idea what is the Chicken Man Men. Maybe the Chicken Man is one man that poops chickens. This one is a man that not only poops chickens, but he pees chickens as well. Oh, so they're bigger. I see. So, their men pooping... Men pooping chickens. This is pooping inception. Men pooping men pooping chickens. And that's a lot of chickens. I think we just got a chicken's business over here. Well, that's no surprise, is it? If a man is pooping men pooping chickens, obviously it's gonna be an infinite line of pooping things. While the chicken men can only poop chickens and that's it, that ends there. Do I make myself clear? Because explaining, trying to explain an inception of pooping is not really easy. So we are done with the new units. Now, there's new maps as well and I want to check that out. It seems to me that the most fun is had with chicken men men. Okay, there's no penguins. A lake in the middle. Snow, apparently. I don't know if that changes, you know, how they act, the performance of what I'm putting in the battlefield. Uh, so far, I completely lost the chicken man. The chicken man has disguised himself as a son of the chicken men men. They are now rubbing against each other. Let's remember the teams. You remember? The blue team is the waffle team. The red team is the penis team. Also known as dick team. And they seem to have a orgy right now. A very sexy orgy. With uh, a lot of chickens and a lot of pooping. 
four chicken men men and a lot of chicken men's still poopy Will this ever have an end? It seems to me that the game is also running better, which is great, at least in my system. I mean, look at the huge amount of chickens, and the game is just running fine right now for me. And finally they decided to split up, ask for divorce. One chicken man man is gone from the dick team, and another one is gone from the waffle team. But it seems that one last waffle chick ten chicken man man is left. God damn it. This should deliver a lot of pooping. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. It only really changes the color. There's really nothing much changing right now between the maps. There's a tree here and there, but only in the Japanese map. So look at that. That's a lot of chickens. That's a lot of men. No, let's not forget that the waffle team, the blue team, are women. And that's a lot of them. We could certainly open a chicken business over here. If only I could poop chickens. These are the kind of units that will more and more destroy your computer's performance. Because more and more they will add units to the map. As you can see, it's becoming a little bit difficult for my computer to handle so much pooping. And so many chickens. And so many men. So many inceptions. I really hope one of you dies soon. Yeah. I'm afraid my computer will not hold on much longer. It's funny how many men, how many chicken men men I put in the battlefield and how much long it took for the computer to struggle. One chicken man man is gone. Actually, a lot of them in the middle already. But there's a lot of chickens. That's the problem. The chickens are completely obliterating my computer right now. Another waffle is gone. Another waffle is gone in the middle. There's a waffle man over there running just fine. There's a dick chicken man man running just fine over here. It seems that all the chicken man mans are gone. Almost all of them. There's one blue and there's one red, right? No, the blue one is gone. No, he's just running. He's running from the dick one to the end of the map. My computer is still shrugging a lot. And the blue victory is up. Why? Why did that... Red chicken men men died. Maybe got roasted. <laughs> so let's try these now. Maybe they will do something against the chickens. They make a lot of noise, but they don't aim correctly. And they they just seem to quit the battle with one go. One avalanche of arrows and they're gone. Look at this. That's a lot of arrows. Nobody hit nobody in the knee, though. I had to throw that joke out there. And uh, there we go again! Man, chicken, man, chicken, chicken? <laughs> man pooping, man pooping chickens. That's what I meant. The hills are somewhat different from what we had before. It seems that the maps are smaller now. Maybe, I wonder if what happens if the units reach the border. Will they just fall? Or will they turn back and get into the battle? Red victory! The dick team won. Now that's all new things that we have in the game, in this new version. So I have plans to go through not the sandbox, but the normal campaign mode in the game. But for now on this video, let's stick to what's new, to what's completely new. And let's try to throw some crazy crap out here. Both sides equally, except the Vikings and a samurai. Estimated performance is actually your computer's performance. Is that what it is? So, instead of trying to fix and optimize your game, you just give us a warning. Look! Your computer will suffer from this. Let's see, look at that. They're really face to face. <laughs> and they just destroyed each other. But that wheel got one samurai. Look at that. Gotta learn how to drive. Look at the muskets. They do so much damage. They are controlling things from back there. But the Vikings this time around won against the Samurai. I don't know if this was because of that Awacha start that was better for the red team. Look at that! Muskets can fire from a really, really long range. It seems that they are really valuable this time around. You know what I'm gonna try? I am gonna put some muskets down 
and I'm gonna put some archers down and see who are the best ones. Obviously, I do expect the muskets to be better, but I just want to compare them. See, the first ones to fire are the muskets. They are already stopping. Now, the archers were the first ones to fire. So basically, they have somewhat the same range, but the muskets take longer to reload. That's the difference. Wow, it seems that the archers are about to win. Look at that. It seems that their aim is better now. Maybe their algorithm is better now? Look at that! The archers got this. I'm gonna throw a different challenge over here, which is putting poachers down and see who wins against the archers. Let's see who wins. There's a rock in there in the middle. These guys have somewhat the advantage because they are on a higher ground. The archers can fire from a longer distance and they're gonna win this. Before, the archers had about the same range, if I'm not mistaken, but their aim was terrible. The porter's aim was much better, but look at this. I'm gonna throw some crazy challenges over here. The first one will be watches. I wanna know how is this gonna turn out. Because watches, I still haven't figured them, them out exactly. I do think that they throw an attack and then they eventually die. It's like those animals, you know those insects? Not animals, those insects that sting something and then they die after next. Uh, bees do that, I suppose? This is a, the most stupid formation I've ever had, but hey. Just wanna see how this goes. Oh god. My ears, man! Jesus Christ, my ears and their vaginas, look at that. All open for whoever is ready to shoot. It seems they only shoot once because, well, they only have one round of arrows, look at that. And now they cannot reach <laughs> their enemies. This is one of those fights, you know? One of those where you see them getting tortured, why are they not moving? I see them slowly going forward, but this would take a huge while, but look at the destruction. I pronounce the dick team the winners, because look at that, uh-huh, most of the blue team is down. It's awesome to see all the destruction, the physics, and all the waffles on the ground. Let's see if the muskets can kill themselves if I put them in a straight line. So if I put them like so, if the last guy shoots, what's gonna happen? I wanna know if the last guy can eventually shoot the first one. That's gonna be funny, gonna be very funny to watch. Come on, shoot each other. <laughs> Someone did! <laughs> the first bullet, or the last bullet, didn't re really reach the first guy. <laughs> You're aiming wrong, sir! You just blew up your friend's butt! Oh my god, they can't even aim at each other because there's a hill in front of you. Oh, wow. Okay, it seems that the bullets are going through the sand. That's good news for you. That was bad news for that guy, though. He got his dick blown off. His balls blown off. This guy's dancing, maybe. And probably closing his eyes sometimes to aim or something. Keep saying no. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the new units into tabs since I last played. Obviously, you may have played before. This is pre-alpha 020. So eventually, in the future, I will now not only experiment with sandbox. Let's not forget that I still have a challenge to perform. You guys on my latest video, all in my latest tabs video, which is now a little bit outdated because I might use the new units against your army. I have to defeat your army with my own army. When that happens, I will allow you to comment on that video for new challenges and new armies from you to battle me. Not on this one, this one was just to showcase the new units. Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been The Sparrow's Journey, this has been Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and I just pissed on your face, I'm sorry about that, let me clean up your eyebrow. Have a good day, bye bye.